the hottest girl in your elementary school or like middle school? I mean, those are two separate questions. Elementary school, it was Katie Heffernan. Okay. Middle school, it was either Sarah Diver or this Caitlin Chaplin character I was referenced. Get it, Poppy. Uh, his dick was on my knee. His dick was on my knee. Welcome to Happy Hour with Patrick Weir. I'm the titular Patrick Weir, a functioning alcoholic with opinions on stuff. Here at Happy Hour, I'll be joined by a panel of guests where we discuss world news, politics, and the occasional hot celebrity goss. First guest joining me tonight is triple threat actor, director, and Holocaust denier Matt McGee. Matt, quick question. Why you deny the Holocaust? Never denied the Holocaust, man. Serious thing that happened. Yeah, yeah. Second guest joining us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, he's an American entrepreneur, philanthropist. He died in 1873. Please welcome Ben Hopkins. Ben, thank you for being here. Now, as somebody who lived in the 1800s, you, you saw the youth of the time. How different are today's children from the 1800s? They you know, have, we're, we're so addicted to our cell phones and I technology. And, yeah, 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 no, I hear that question. Mm -hmm. um, I would say in the 1800s, the kids had very shit teeth like it was just I heard that yeah dis rotted and disgusting mm -hmm. now kids have nice teeth and they you know they use their phones shut up please you, you guys have a movie coming out together right we do we do have we movies do. are you gonna we tell you're gonna make us talk <laughs> about our stuff now so my third guest joining me tonight <coughs> third guest joining me tonight Potted plant, potted plant, thank you so much for being here. Now, I understand that you actually have a pretty crazy story about an awkward date that went awry after you confused chlorophyll with chloroform. Is that correct? Master, you wanted the 40s? Yes, Cornelius, please give those to our guests. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't, you can't. You probably have to take it from my hands. I've never played Edward Forty Hands where you're allowed to do this. It's gonna hurt. I know. Where's the edge? You find it. Oh, there it is. Harder. Rip like he. <laughs> Rip, boy. Rip. Yo, Sounds this like dude, my ex-girlfriend. This dude, this dude was in an Ace Ventura movie. It was when nature calls. Rip, boy. <laughs> Blood, <laughs> ice. I scamper, master. I scamper. <laughs> Thank you, Cornelius. Oh, man. Here, let me, let me join you guys. Oh, we've got 120 ounces of Bud Ice. Jeez. I'm get. What are you? What are you doing? What's going on? Is he having a stroke? Okay. Did I not just... Say something out loud? Yeah. No. Oh. If you could steal a smooch from any ho Hollywood big shot, who would it... Who, who are you smooching? Okay, if I'm not smooching on, on Salma Hayek, <laughs> I'm smooching on uh, Halle Berry's, uh, probably her left titty when they filmed Swordfish. Mm -hmm. I was probably smooching on that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The left one. Now, you said if not Salma Hayek, so you would prefer. I would prefer Salma. Oh, my God. Which titty would you smooch on Salma? I'd probably lick the unibrow first from Frida Kahlo. And then, probably her left titty too. I think it's about time we have a little chit chat. So people want Oprah Winfrey to run for president? We're like, no, Oprah Winfrey. Thoughts? Oprah, you know, she's, she doesn't really have a, a, a background in politics, does she? So, but she's cool, you know, she's cool as fuck. She, she seems like a sane person. Does any sane person give away like 30 Lexuses in a fucking course of a half an hour TV show? All right, well, we took to social media to see what we should chit chat about. So let's see, what do we got here on the Twitter sphere? You should talk about Marvel and DC comic and or movies from Nate691169. I love that. It's cool. Nate, Nate. Uh, 
What's going on, man? Nice to meet you, too. No, this isn't a Skype call. He can't... You didn't hear... He can't hear you. Chris Rock is a DC comic. I believe he is from Washington, D.C. I think that's who Nate is talking about. He wants us to talk about Chris Rock. Or his he's got movies. a new special or, coming or his out. Movies. Yeah, oh, yeah. Have you seen? Comic. Have you seen the movie where he's he's? Uh, Wait, he talks like this. Hey, I'm Chris Rock. I was gonna get into more detailed plot notes and stuff like that. Sorry, what? I have this fucking forty. No, 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 it's all right. I can't over. Sorry, what are you saying to me? Oh. Is that the case? Okay. You know, it's every fucking time we're back in this goddamn show. It feels fucking bullshit. I'm fucking tired of it! Fuck it! Bring up the backup guest! Bring him out! What did that plant say? Sir, the backup guest has arrived. Thank you very much. Sean Thanks, Kerrigan, sir. American Vandal. How's it going, guys? Oh, hey, Whatever. how are you doing? Sean. Pleasure to meet you. Fucking every time we have a goddamn ficus on the show. I have no idea who you are. Can you please sit down? Thank you. Okay. Sean, can we get you a drink? Uh, no, man, I'm actually not, not drinking right now. So. Uh, the show just sort of, we drink here. Yeah, no, I, Patrick, we talked about that. I'm, I'm kind of not. I'm, I thought you were joking because you're a comedian. I thought you were joking. No, no, I was, I was serious, man. It's, uh, Do you know an actual joke, then? Can you tell me something that is funny? Uh, what is funny is that you had me waiting in your laundry room as a green room. That's uh, kind of funny. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this as a favor to you, so I don't know why you had me in there. Yeah, okay. Well, let's just, <laughs> let's just, let's just look at the next Twitter. No, no, it's cool. Twitter this is fun. thing. Shut the fucking door! So. All right, what's the next? What's the next? Emma Brown says liquid cremation. I don't know what that is. Emma wants us to talk about liquid cremation. Isn't Emma Brown famous? No, that's Emma Stone, you fucking... No, I'm thinking of Emma Watson. Don't, don't you don't dare. Don't talk down to don't me. Don't you don't dare. Don't talk down to me. Liquid cremate, is that no. where they cremate you into a liquid? Is that what that would be? Like lava? Is that, is that one of your yeah. jokes you tell your stand-ups? Uh, you know, I was just trying to... I think that was molten to... cremation. What's your favorite comic book movie? Taco Man. Is that up for an Oscar? I haven't heard of Taco Man. It's up for a couple. Taco Man, Taco Man and Ground Beef Boy is the uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the sequel. Wait, this is a sequel. Like like Ant-Man and the Wasp? Oh man, Taco Man is an old fucking movie. Bro. Why is it up for an Oscar this year? It's not though? up for an Oscar. You it's just up said for it a fucking was... independent spirit award. It's like... Who's the lead? Like fucking Josh Yo, Bacon. Josh. Kevin Bacon's brother is... Hey, Patrick, how much longer are we going to be doing this? I've got stuff to do. Got another show. You know, Sean, that's actually a good point. Uh, you're, you're a big Hollywood guy, right? American Vandal, super popular on Netflix. Season two is coming, is coming out soon. What's going on with that? What, what can we expect uh, from uh, Well, I'm not in season two because it takes place in a different high school. They're bringing back some of the other actors, though. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're bringing back uh, the, two, the two leads. The so they're just not bringing you back. Nope, they're not bringing me back, Patrick. No. We talked about this. Yeah, that's. Uh, they just you weren't good enough. They didn't, like, they didn't like you, or I don't think that had anything to do with it. Actually, I think that was just they. They're doing it in a different location. John, I don't know have why you're you being done so. Any, have you done any acting? Uh, just, just wondering if I've done you, some short oh, yeah? films. In with... your twenty-two short years on this planet. Is that why you grow the beard? Do you grow the beard so that people look at you? I grow the beard because as it opposed to looks good and makes me. Seem like Clearly, does all he does is eat fucking tacos and fucking mm. stick his tongue in ground piles of ground beef. Disgusting human being. That's gross. Your mother has a name. I'm sorry. Oh, you see what he did there? Because I, I was refer your mom is the pile of ground beef. So Turn off your fucking cell phones! Oh, sorry, that was me. I'm sorry, what? Wait, these aren't fucking 40s, they're fucking 32 ounces? Do you see that? I'm sorry, what? These aren't even 40s. These are 32 mm -hmm. ounces. Talking about my mom. That's fucking cheap as shit. Cheap as Ben's mom. I, you know, I've met Ben's Hopkins' moms. I've, I've, I've dedicated films to Ben's Hopkins' moms. You they might be, might you might be, ooh. Cut it off. Cut it off, because... I'm about to try and get up. You good, bro? You good? 
Luckily, he can't get up. He's got a busted leg. Yeah, what are you going to do? Limp over here? Oh. Get him. Like a, like, a, like a guy with a limp knee? Who are you? What's your, what's your worth? Is this, I mean, is this, is this what this is? I guess, like, would we, we, like, just come here and, why? like, watch, watch the, like, what, what are we doing? We're talking about comic books, obviously. Has, has that not been abundantly clear? Yo, help, help yourself, man. Help yourself. Uh, oh, help you. oh, I'm definitely going to have a beer. <laughs> help yourself. I think you're upset. I don't mind if I do. This is actually a good point to thank our sponsor, uh, Blonde Misogyny Ale. Grab life by the pussy. Okay, let's see what else people want to hear about. Next, please. Oh, there's more. Micro penises. Oh, Sean, you should know a lot about this one. Oh, 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 oh. shut the fuck up. Man. Because you have a small penis. Like How micro. do you know? Did your mom tell you? Yeah, my was mom. That, was that after uh, I, I banged your mom? Was that, yeah, it was. That was yeah, that, you had sex with my mom, but she still said that you have a micro penis. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure she did. Earmuffs! Please! Got it, master. Okay, guys, look. I need to be real with you for a second. Oh, oh okay. All right. I'm good. I'm Sean, good. you agreed to be a part of the show? I did. I, I, I did. I didn't agree to that. So let's just... Okay, Dad, we're going to whisper so Sean doesn't hear. Look, this guy's not giving me jack shit, okay? So I really need you to... Who is that witch looking dude? Yo, he's from Ace Ventura Pet Detective. We talked about Jim Carrey earlier. Mm, witch. He's from Chicago. Can can you guys just please participate this next segment? I'm really gonna need you guys to bring it home for me. Can anything you do that? You, anything, can you do that? Anything you need, Poppy. Matt. I I'm happy to help you out. Alright, I'd like to move on to our next segment, Two Men Kissing, featuring Matt and Ben. Fucking love Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. No, this is you guys. Kiss, 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 kiss. You guys said you would do it. This is the dumbest show I've ever been on. Well, we won't invite you back for season two then, Sean. <laughs> That's funny. That's an American Vandal joke. Shut the fuck up, man. Did you fuck my mom? Yeah, yeah, I did. No. Did she talk about me at all? Did your mom talk about you while I was having sex with her? No, before. It'd be a little strange, don't you think? Yeah, she's a big fan of your work. I can't see why, though. That's very sweet of her. She, moms are so supportive. You guys want to talk about moms? I mean, Sean's fucking my mom. I'm fucking Ben's. Matt, what's your mom up to? <laughs> yeah, my mom's chilling. Don't worry about my mom. What's the male equivalent of menopause like? Oh, I, I get it. That's an age joke, right? It's cause yeah. Because I'm, I'm. Hey, I bet when you had older. sex with my mom, you orgasmed with dust. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Cornelius. Cornelius! Okay, he seems like he must be busy right now. So let me just ask you guys a question. You ever poop when you pee? You ever poo a little bit when you pee? I always pee when I poop. I know, I've had a, a I've had a couple massive, massive shits where I just, it was pure shit, no pee. <laughs> It was like, it was like, do not even go there, penis, it's pure butthole tonight. It wouldn't let me charge my fucking phone. Where, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> it's a serious issue. Do you need me, master? A little late to the party, Cornelius. I'm sorry, you know I had Cornelius things to deal with. Yeah, no, you, you told me you had a poem that you prepared earlier. 
A poem? Yes, I did. Do you want to hear it? Yes, please. Okay. Would you mind standing center stage? Uh, of course. You told me not to be there, but I'll be there now. But yeah, you can be there this time. Okay, all right. Um, to you? No, to I Sean. For you. No, oh, do it to Sean. Okay, this might not apply. I wrote it for Patrick. Do I do a pa- poem? I, what did you just Do I do a poem? Yes, you do poem. Do poem? Do poem. Poem? Poem. Master Patrick, your eyes are like crystal brown glasses. I have blue eyes. <laughs> I'm also colorblind. <laughs> Master Patrick, your eyes are like clear brown crystals. And every day I wake up and dream of them. I love you. End of poem. Now, doesn't the poem end with you giving me a hug? Yeah. Well, I feel like it's only appropriate. No. May I hug you, Master no. Sean? No? No, I'm good. Thanks. Uh, I know my place. I will leave. Thank you, Cornelius. Do you want to hug the guy? Dude, I, thought, I thought you were going to, like, ask me some stuff, man. What do you want me to ask you? You invite people on your show and then you, you're an asshole to them? Is that, is that what you do? Is well, that, normally do you I don't enjoy, invite... Do you enjoy being an asshole? <clears throat> normally I don't invite little bitches on my show. So I'm, oh, I'm, I'm a little bitch? Well, you're a big bitch, age-wise. <laughs> Burn. Okay. Here on Happy Hour, much like how the show is an enabler of my alcoholism, we're going to be playing some drinking games. Uh, to enable me wanting to speak to our guests, because we obviously cannot afford guests that I actually care to talk to. Fuck you, Sean. Patrick. For okay, here in Happy Hour, we'll be playing some drinking games. Whether it's something we all know and love, like beer pong, something a little more obscure, or something created entirely for the show itself, such as the game we will be playing tonight. Now, this is uh, this is pretty cute. My girlfriend, she wanted to come on and you know create the first game. So, Bree, do you want to come on stage? Just yeah, just, just, just to explain. Yeah, just let us know. Okay. Let us, yeah, this is very cute, guys. The game is called Pop Me Weird. Every balloon has a color, every color has a letter, and every letter has a rule. <laughs> and the rules are right here. Weird. They're all spelled out there for you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand over here and you're gonna Fucking Christ! Up. Jesus I hit a balloon. <laughs> Um, Jesus, whoa! Hey, why do we set this up right next to my face? Oh, I thought that was part of the fun. No! Oh. Why Just explain the game. You're supposed to pop a balloon, and then whatever color you pop, that is what you have to do. But last thing, don't hit the middle balloon. That is a very special balloon. What does the middle one mean? Do? What does that do? If you do hit the middle one, you have to flip ten cups, they will be filled with beer in under te- two minutes. If you do that, if you oh, yeah. drink them and flip them all accurately in under two minutes, you're done. If you don't, if you fail in that amount of time, another shot and another shotgun of beer. And then if you miss the balloons entirely, you have to drink as many balloons has been popped. So you don't just get off the hook. There's no not drinking in Pop Me Weird. As you'll be popping. Popping sort of... Unlike <clears throat> Sean Kerrigan's career with American Vandal. Okay, all right. That's that's enough. So, what's enough? Enough not being uh, on American Vandal season two. We starting. Yo, dude, your your joke's tired, man. Your joke's tired. Tired like my mom is of being fucked by you. You want to give me a hug? What are we doing? Fuck you! How about that? Huh? You gonna fuck everybody in my family? What do you think of that? Sean Kerrigan, ladies and gentlemen. Text you tomorrow. Hey. I swear to God. I don't ever want to see your face again. Don't ever call me again. Probably don't want to do brunch tomorrow. Fuck off. Let's throw some darts! (laughs) And 
episode is Brave Young Souls departed on an adventure. An adventure of drinking. They drank without mercy, without compassion. <sighs> Patrick, this is stupid. No, it's not. You're stupid. Seriously, do I... Read the script, Brie! Fine. With the knowledge that Brie would have to drive them home later anyways. So why not get fucked up? Okay, so obviously nobody is winning in this game. I, I like won. Safe to I say. won the fucking it's game. It's safe to say we all lost. Uh, so, gentlemen, where can people find you online? Yo. Straight up. You can find me online. Champagne Hoppy on Instagram. At Champagne Hoppy, whatever you want to do. On Twitter, at Beneficial. All day, every day. At Facebook, Ben Hopkins. All that shit every day, every day. You know, that's that's all you got. Real talk. Thank you for that beautiful message, Ben. Uh, Matt, where can people find you online? I'm sorry for everything that just happened. You can find me on Instagram at uh, Matt McGee and on Twitter at Matt a Creator. All right, so you guys are in a movie together. What is it? Yeah, so we're not actually in a movie together. I'm I'm writing and directing a movie that he is in. Okay. Um, it's called I'm Not Here, and it's about a... But you are here. I am here. But the movie is called I'm Not Here. It's crazy that you can have these titles oh, that don't apply to actual that's physics. That's fun. That is such a... The oh. crazy thing is it relates to physics because... So what it deals with is a sexual assault survivor who is... She's dealing with this, and, and she, she is the most logical person in the world dealing with this thing that is not a logical disease. And then we have this... Uh, character introduced to her. Also a, a, a survivor of something traumatic and he's dealing with PTSD. But he's a little bit further along in the journey and, and, and she's someone who meets him and isn't expecting because she is this very intelligent person who isn't used to people being able to kind of serve it back to her. He is this person who kind of gives it back to her. See the shortcomings of, of her, her thought process. And, and just and, blossom in a sense. And blossom in a sense. Well, uh, gentlemen, you don't have to go home, but get the fuck out. Cornelius! Please get them out of here. Out! Out! Master said out! Get out! Come on! Get out! This is not a B&B! &B. No, out! Not. You're not staying here overnight! You were invited for a specific period of time! Get out! Overstayed, you're welcome. Master wants you out now. That's the guy. That's the guy we're going to for all the news. Taco Man. Okay, you're, oh, you're going to... <laughs> Where is Ground Beef Boy? Hey, my name is, I think, Ground Beef Boy. Welcome to the Ground Beef News. I got a ground beef. I got a ground beef basement. So what if there's a boy there? Who cares? That's it for Ground Beef News. <laughs> so we'll conclude it with, uh, Ground Beef Boy pretty much admitting that the taco man eats it.